Hannah Cobb Race, and today is Monday, January 23rd, 2017. I'm Hannah. And I'm Skylar, and on today's show, we will be talking about a fence and the sheriff's department. So let's get the show started. Mount Clemens man has been jailed after he was arrested for his 14th drug and driving offense. Fox 2 report police pulled over a 1998 Grand Prix on Market Street in Mount Clemens Friday at evening after they witnessed the driver go through a red light. Upon the talking to the driver, the deputy determined he was intoxicated. The driver, 54 years old, examined was arrested for operating while intoxicated. Deputies learned then that driving privileges were also suspended. Furthermore, authorities learned has been convicted for operating while intoxicated on 13 times since 1998. Has also had his driving privileges suspended 12 times and has been convicted 10 times of driving on suspended license. His car was impounded and he's held in McCown County Jail. He faces a felony charge of operating while intoxicated, third offense, among other charges. Now to weather. Today's weather cloudy with a chance of showers in the morning, then partly sunny with a slight chance of showers in the afternoon, highs in the mid 50s to upper 60s, south winds 10 miles per hour, last chance of rain 30% tonight, most of cloudy and terrain, 20% chance of showers early in the morning, lowers in the upper 40s and mid 50s, south winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday, got a chance of showers and thunderstorms in that morning, then showers and thunderstorms likely in that afternoon. Highs in the mid 50s to upper 60s, south winds 10 miles per hour less. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night. Wow. Now the world is Matthew. As of this morning, more people have been found alive under the wreckage of Italy's Rigapon Piano Hotel from Friday's avalanche, according to Luca Cari, the spokesperson for Italy's National Fire Brigade. This brings the number of survivors to 11. Six people have been found dead and 23 still missing, according to the Italian Civil Production Agency and the Fire Brigade. Now to the PSA receive advanced individual training specialized to the skills in your area. Depending on your specialty, your training could last from one month to more than a year. In that time, you'll enjoy challenging classroom and field hands-on training in a real work situation. When you enlist, you'll join the Army with a legally binding contract of commitment. That means the Army guarantees to invest time and money in you from the day you meet your recruiter. Welcome to sports. I'm Devin. I'm Teddy. On today's sports, the boys have a game tomorrow, and we also had a game Friday against Chattanooga Patriots. Boys came out with a win, 103 to 91. First team to uh, score over 100. Girls won to to some come out with in support Cougars tomorrow. Falcons and Patriots in the Super Bowl 51. Yeah, Falcons. That's all for sports. Yeah, oh, good. I'm sorry. Teddy, what did you think about the boys' game? Well, I think they did pretty good on Friday, and I think they should have a pretty good and a shout out to Keaton. And he did pretty good on Friday, and I think they. That's all for sports. Now to lunch with Jordan. Today in line one, corn dog nuggets, coleslaw, 
um, Dice pears, potato round, line two, breaded chicken sandwich trimmings, baked potato rounds, sliced peaches, and for breakfast tomorrow it's chicken biscuit, and breakfast for tomorrow in line two is breakfast pizza. That's all for lunch. Let's go to local. An inmate at Polk County Jail is accused of assault assaulting a guard Tuesday night before being sentenced to life in prison Wednesday morning. Polk County Sheriff's Department say the Marty Knight was assaulted last night at the jail in, by Stephen Asbury. Officer Knight was hospitalized overnight with no life-threatening injuries and is released this morning. This, morning's Asbury, this morning, Asbury was back in court where he was sentenced to life in prison for murder of James Patton in July 2016. Asbury is, will also be charged with felony assault with intent on um, per, persons engaged in certain occupations for the jail assault of Officer Knight. Now to our sponsors. This perceived higher earnings for having a four-year degree has caused educators and parents to encourage going to the university, any university, to major in anything in pursuit of social mobility and financial prosperity. But the reality is, not every degree is direct preparation for employment. With rising education costs, a shrinking job market, and the oversaturation of some academic majors in the workforce, many graduates end up taking positions that do not require the education they have received at a cost that is more than they can afford. We still have the email for any videos or pictures you would like to put on CBTV. Birthdays over the weekends were Emily Freeman and Dustin Adams. For today's birthdays, there are none that we know of, but if you know someone that has a birthday today, make sure you wish them a happy birthday. Prom is April 22nd. Progress reports are issued on the 27th. Fun fact of the day is the largest natural bridge on earth. The ferry bridge was virtually unknown to the rest of the world until, the, until it was observed on Google Earth. Go. Alexa, tell me a joke. I wrote a song about a tortilla. Well, actually, it's more of a rap. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's show. See you tomorrow on CBTV News and I. Bye.